Patterns are powerful things. Just like computers, software, and AI run on an algorithmic pattern, so do humans run on patterns. Our behavioral patterns determine what we do, how we do it, and when we do it. Our behaviors determine our habits. And ultimately, for better or worse, our habits determine the quality of our lives. At the root of any addiction or any habit you're trying to break, there's a subconscious pattern powering and fueling this cycle of addiction. To illustrate the power of patterns, an example that comes to mind is the heroin crisis among the United States troops stationed in Vietnam during the Vietnam War. During that war, two United States congressmen, Robert Steele and Morgan Murphy, visited the troops and discovered that over 20% of the U.S. soldiers were already addicted to heroin, and more than 35% had tried heroin at one time or the other in Vietnam. This shocking discovery led to the constitution of a committee on drug abuse prevention back in the United States. And one of the researchers on this committee was Lee Robbins, who later made a discovery that changed how the world looked at addictions forever. What Robbins found was that when the war was over and these heroin addicted soldiers returned home, approximately 90% of them eliminated their addictions overnight. This discovery led to a new question. How were these soldiers able to break their addiction overnight? The answer was in the change in their pattern of living. This discovery showed us that we are a creature that runs on patterns at our core. And this brings me to the first step you need to take to stop relapsing on your semen retention practice or your NoFap challenge. Number one, find the pattern of relapse. The first step to stop a relapse is to find the underlying pattern that often leads to this relapse. A pattern of relapse usually consists of a trigger, which leads to cravings, which then forces you to exert a will to resist the cravings. And it's either the will suffices or you eventually give in and relapse. To figure out your pattern of relapse, you need to know what counts as a relapse in the first place. This will be down to the type of retention you're doing or the mode of nofap you're doing. For instance, watching adult content on a certain mode of nofap is a relapse, while it might not count as a relapse on other modes. I have a video up here where I go into the details of what counts as a relapse on nofap. You can check the video out to better understand what counts as a relapse. But practicing semen retention is where it might get tricky because someone retaining might be watching adult content, might be having sex, or even orgasming, so long as he's not releasing his semen, that's not a relapse. And you might be the type that has mastered the art of bringing your hot sexual energy up your spine when you are on the brink of releasing. Doing that is advanced retention, not a relapse. But if you're like the rest of us mere mortals that's always letting it out, either through jerking off to adult content or having sex, then that's a relapse. So you need to figure out what counts as a relapse on your semen retention practice. After doing that, you need to find your triggers. Is your craving triggered by seeing a picture of a hot model on social media? Is it a thought pattern you engage in? Is it when you are stressed, bored, or depressed that you feel you need to bust a nut to relieve the tension? Is it when your girlfriend is around and you can't control yourself around her? Whatever it is, you need to identify what kickstarts the whole process of relapse. Number two, change the pattern. Once you are aware of your triggers, watch what you do next. Are you able to resist the cravings that you're now having? Or are you not able to resist? And if you're still watching this video, I'm willing to bet that the cravings win more times than you'd like. So at this point, it isn't as simple as willing yourself to have more willpower. But willpower doesn't work like that. It's not something you can just wish to increase in the moment you need it to increase and it will just increase like that. Willpower is something that you build up over time. Science has found that the closest thing to the seat of willpower in our brain is the anterior midcingulate cortex. And this region only increases in size when we keep doing something we don't want to do, or when we keep not doing what we want to do. This willpower exercise is a workout that takes patience and persistence, which is not different from any workout if we're honest. The paradox that is to be solved when it comes to relapsing on semen retention is the need for a willpower that isn't enough. So we have to go deeper. We start our willpower exercise from the foundation, from the identity level. This is because your willpower is closely linked to your identity. You'll stop relapsing the day you build an identity of someone who can handle the cravings. This is what is loosely termed as identity shifting on YouTube. Embarking on this journey of identity shifting is much deeper than what the YouTube gurus will have you believe. This isn't about reciting some affirmations while looking in the mirror every morning. Of course, we all know that doesn't work for anybody. So to answer the question of how to become somebody bigger than the cravings, there are two layers of identity you can start working on. You can choose either of the layers or work on both layers at the same time. The first layer of identity you can work on is to remove anything that fuels your cravings. This is when you remove the Instagram on your phone for a while, unfollow those models that trigger you or install filters on your phones and computers, or when you see a hot girl on the street and don't take a second look at her. 
Changing all these patterns is the first layer of identity shifting. And sometimes, this first layer is enough for some people. Sometimes, it is what some people need to supplement their willpower and achieve their semen retention and nofap goals. But if you've done this type of thing in the past and it hasn't worked, then you need to move to the second layer of identity shifting. The second layer of identity shifting is when you build up your seat of willpower, your anterior mid-cingulate cortex in another area of your life, and start applying your newfound willpower to the PMO cravings you get later. In other words, you become someone who doesn't need to relapse anymore. You aim to build the new patterns and the new habits of someone who doesn't need to relapse anymore. This is when you aim to rebuild your dopamine circuit to the point that you don't need the dopamine from relapsing anymore. This is what I call dopamine replacement therapy, or DRT for short. The three DRT exercises I always suggest are high-intensity interval training, meditation, and journaling. I go into the details of why DRT works and how to do it properly in a video up here. The idea is that you want to combine these two layers of identity shifting together. You change the first pattern of cravings by installing internet filters, uninstalling any app you need to uninstall, and changing any pattern of behavior or pattern of thought fueling your cravings. And on top of that, you change your pattern of living by doing the DRT exercises regularly. Number three, get control of your mind and build willpower. Nothing we've discussed so far will take hold or stick if you don't build awareness. You need to build an awareness of what your patterns are, and most importantly, the awareness of how your addiction cycle works. You need to be aware of your thoughts and feelings to get this type of awareness. There's no other way around it. A consistent meditation practice is the most effective way I know to build this type of awareness. If you take anything away from this video, or if I were to step out what you need to do to stop relapsing on semen retention or nofap, it would be. Step one, make it a habit to meditate for 10 minutes every day. Do this for at least a month. Step two, after that one month, take some time to yourself to take an honest stock of your patterns of relapse. Think about what always triggers you to relapse. Think about what usually fuels your cravings to relapse. Then, decide on the action steps to change that pattern. Step three, add a routine of HIIIT exercises every day or every other day and start journaling about your progress and your patterns around relapsing every day. Do these consistently and I promise you that in the next three months, you'll have become someone who can control his cravings better. You would have become that person who says he won't relapse on his semen retention and nofap for 30 days and actually do it. Again, I recommend you watch this video up here where I go deeper into DRT exercises and everything you need to know about them. If you made it to the end of this video, I appreciate you. If you found this video helpful at all, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss it when I drop videos like this in the future. If you didn't find this video helpful, I thank you for watching this long. And I'll see you in the next one.